ride on Bizarro. Everybody got a ride? Yeah. Yeah. I will be riding with you this evening, so just know I will have to ask you to get out of my favorite seat if you're in my favorite seat. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. I think one of the most important things that is happening today is it's Russ's birthday. going on in the north end just a little bit how many have kind of followed what we're doing with our exciting new coaster for next year excellent we are uh, we're working i know sfne online beats me on everything although i've already got stored up represent no sometimes not always great because um, you kind of take away from my thunder of trying to promote but you know whatever it's, it's facebook it's for everybody um, we're going to be uh, posting construction vlogs throughout the entire winter, um, some videos so you can kind of follow the progress. This is huge for our park. We haven't had it, a big coaster since 2000. So we're incredibly excited to get this coaster. It's going to change the lane, landscape of our entire park. So it really is awesome and we're very excited about getting it. I hope you guys are excited to ride it too. I did my whole speech about it's your birthday. I made you a cake and the whole thing, and you weren't even here. Uh, just you know, this year we had a great year. Uh, Gotham City Gauntlet uh, produced great numbers for us. It's a great coaster for the entire family. Um, as you know, a lot of you have ridden it. It's just a fun coaster, but we're really excited about jumping off of this thrill coaster next year. Um, we're looking, I think, mid June to get it open. Don't hold me to that date, but. Um, we're truly excited. I know you've seen the videos, and I'm sure some of you have been on that poster before, but it really will change the landscape, and we're excited about it. So, as we all like to do, we can kick off a little Q&A. I have Pete Carmichael here, our Director of Ops, who can answer all of our fabulous questions. And he actually has his entire team in the back row over there eating. We, uh, we tend to finalize our, our hand restriction. By the way, did everybody hear the question about the hand restriction? She was asking that most of the deja vus have a 6'4 maximum height, and the one we're getting has 6'3. Right now, our plan is, is to keep it the same as the way Magic Mountain has uh, been running it, but honestly, our, our team actually back there, is, anytime that we put in a new ride and we, we go through the commissioning process, there's always that opportunity to look and see, well, what is what is the safest operation? What is the best decision for this particular ride at this particular site? So there's always a chance it could change, you know, by the time we, we go to uh, go through all the safety uh, protocol and all the commissioning next year. But as of right now, we would intend on keeping it as the same height requirement as Magic Mountain. Okay. Yeah. Wow, what a June opening. In the back first. Why are you putting two right next to I don't know what you're talking about in this question. <laughs> you know, actually, it, it's a pretty simple answer. I, I don't know about you guys, but I like coasters, and anytime we have a chance to, to get an 11th coaster, you know, I, I'm all for it. So we, uh, we had a great opportunity to, uh, to get a world class thrill ride that we're going to put in. Uh, next year with uh, GIB, but yet there's still certainly, you know, a, a great number of folks who love flashback and love riding it, and that continues to be a popular ride as well. You know, we were joking around that maybe we could put them right next to each other the way Duel and Dragons are, and they could flip up for the Cobra roll, you know, kind of at the same time, but we didn't quite get there in the design. But, uh, but I mean, that's really the spirit of the answer, is I'll take as many great coasters in my park as, as we can get. Yes, on the tomorrow, uh, the radio doesn't work. 
The, the short answer is yes. Is that some challenges with the audio right now? Yes. Um, we, we do, um, every morning whenever we do our, our inspections on that, we do report any audio glitches that we've had. I know we've had a few recently, um, but we keep our maintenance director, Chuck, constantly informed of those, and every week, every weekend, we go through and we do the repairs uh, to, to try to keep that up and running uh, as much as possible. As, as many of you know, of course, there are technical issues that do come along with some of the special effects and technology, not only Bizarre, but any of those, those sorts of theme coasters, so we're just kind of working through those right now. I like that.